We're going to be exploring the city of Columbus along Interstate 270. Come on, let's go. Alright everyone, today for I am doing another Interstate 270. This time I'm doing the one in the Columbus area, or the Columbus Loop. And I'm also going to be doing Ohio Route 315 because it's a freeway that goes right by Ohio State University's campus, which is this video is dedicated to. Also, Interstate 270 used to have control cities on its main line, but most of them were taken down. So we're going to be taking a blast of the past and looking at those. So let's get started with Interstate 270. But first, you're watching The Dirt Pile, where I make highways content on all sorts of different topics. If you've been enjoying it, be sure to hit that like button. And if you've been really enjoying it, be sure to smash that subscribe button so you're notified on all future videos. And if you really want to help out the channel, become a member today where you get custom cool emojis, early access to future videos, along with one free extra request per month. And if you don't want to become a member, you can always just pay $3 for a intersection request in future videos. Those highways will be listed down in the description below, and I'll make sure to shout you out when that video releases. So let's get on with the highway. As you can see here, this is the map of Interstate 270 as it encircles the entire city of Columbus. The dark gray is the part of the route I've been on, while the light gray is Ohio Route 315. So with that, we're going clockwise around the city. So we begin here at Interstate 71, where 71 gets great choices, while 270 used to have a control city, but for some reason it was greened out. So let us go back in time and see what it was beforehand. Oh, it looked like it was signed for Dane, which I think is an alright choice. Because Dane is a major city here in the state of Ohio. And it looked like that Ohio wanted uh, 270 to be a lot like 285. But then probably someone from TechStop moved up here to Ohio and decided to make themselves feel at home, so they decided to remove all the control cities from 270, or most of them as we're about to see in a bit. After meeting Interstate 71, we now have our exits restarted, and our first exit is for US 62. Yay, US 62. I also recommend checking out my US 62 videos. And our next exit is Ohio. US Highway 40 and it just gets the Kentucky treatment and let us see what we're signed for on US 40. Oh we just get no control city we just get 270 this way and this is probably the reason why I'm not going to be taking a look at major interchanges on 270 because I feel like this is what most of it's going to be. Ah oh, a control city still left on 270 and a direction this time too. So we're meeting Interstate 70 and it's signed east for Columbus and Dayton, while 270 gets north for Cleveland, which I think is an alright choice because we're going to be meeting Interstate 71 again and it takes you up to Cleveland. Here we are meeting US Highway 33 and it's signed east for Dublin and west for Marysville. No, that is not Dublin, Ireland, that is Dublin, Ohio. And we're now meeting Ohio Route 315, and we're going to be coming back to that route in a little while. While well, US 23 is at exit 23 for Delaware and Worthington. No, that is not the state of Delaware, because US 23 is a north-south route, and Delaware is east of here. That is Delaware, Ohio. And once again, we get no control city for 270, just a pull-through sign. Here we are meeting Interstate 71 once again, and it's signed north for Cleveland and south for Columbus, and once again we just get a pull through for 270. So let us go back in time once again to see what we're signed for now. Oh, it looks like it was signed for Wheeling because 70 goes to Wheeling, so that is a good choice. Here we meet Ohio Route 3, which gets signed for Westerville. Now we're meeting Interstate 670, which takes you back over to Interstate 70, and it is concurrent with US Highway 62, and US 62 East is signed for Gahana, and sadly I missed this when I did my US 62 video. Now we're meeting Ohio Route 317, 
And if you didn't go onto the 670 exit, this is the exit to take you over to the airport. And we're now meeting both 70 and 40 at the same distributor exits. And once again, 40 just gets a Kentucky treatment while 70 gets signed for Columbus and Wheeling. But if we look ahead, 40 does get some control cities. It gets east for Reynoldsburg and west for Whitehall. Now we're meeting 70 itself and 70 east is now signed for Wheeling. And we just get another pull through for Interstate 270. So once again, we're going back in time to see what 270 was signed for. Oh, we're now signed for Cincinnati because we're going to be meeting 71 once again. And here on the southeast side of Columbus, we're meeting with US Highway 33, and it's signed east for Lancaster and west for Bexley. No, US 33 does not take you to Lancaster, Pennsylvania, or as Pennsylvanians like to call it, Lancaster. And then a little ways up the road, we're now meeting Interstate 71 once again. We're going to be turning around and going counterclockwise around the city. So we start on the other side of the 71 junction, and it just gets the same control cities, and this time there is no pull through for Interstate 270, which is quite odd. And then our next exit is US Highway 23, which gets signed north for High Street, for some random reason, and south for Circleville. Personally, I think 23 South should be signed for Chillicothe instead of Circleville. And it looks like, once again, 270 used to have a control city, but it was greened out. And it was signed for Wheeling. Here we meet US Highway 33 once again, and it's still signed for Bexley and Lancaster. And we only get a pull through for 270 itself. And let us see what we're signed for on US 33. Oh, we just get no control cities for 270, but 33 does get a pull through. And I might do a US 33 video one day. And we're now meeting Interstate 70 once again, which it gets signed east for Wheeling, and since 70 West takes you into downtown Columbus, it signs for Columbus. And let us see what 270 is now signed for way back when. Oh, we're now signed for Cleveland, which is a great choice. And here is the proper exit for US Highway 40, and it gets signed east for Reynoldsburg and Whitehall once again. And we're now meeting Interstate 670 once again and US Highway 62. And we get a separated pull through sign for Interstate 270 and Ohio Route 161. Here we meet Interstate 71 once again. And it gets signed north for Cleveland and south for Cleveland and Columbus. What? That's confusing. And 270 just gets a pull through once again. But let us see what it's signed for way back when again. Oh, we're now signed for Dayton, so it's an alright choice. And here we meet US Highway 23 once again at exit 23. And Ohio Route 315 is exit 22. Here we are meeting US Highway 33 on the northwest side of the city, and like last time it gets the same control cities. And we're now meeting Interstate 70 which gets signed west for Dayton, and 270 is now signed south for, I'm guessing Cincinnati. Oh I was correct, it is signed south for Cincinnati. Apparently they were giving it on this pull through for US Highway 40 instead of Interstate 70 for some reason. Hmm. Does Columbus favor US-40 more? I don't know. And then here is our last numbered exit, US Highway 62 and Ohio Route 3, and they're signed for Grove City. And we end here at the Interstate 71 Junction, but guess what? We don't end the video here, because we're actually going to be talking about Ohio Route 315, and we're going to be starting with Southbound 315. So we begin here at the US 23 and Ohio Route 315 junction, and we're going to be taking exit 22 for 315 South. And here is the exit on Ohio Route 315, and it's signed for Ohio Route 161. And the ways down the road, this picture was taken by Quartermont 437, thank you again for the pictures, 
You meet both Exit 6 and Exit 7, which I'm guessing takes you into downtown Columbus. And he also took a picture of this miles to minute sign, so we're only 7 miles from Interstate 70, and it will take a 12 minute drive. Wow, must be pretty busy back then. He also took a picture of Exits 5 and 4, and Exit 4 is the one that takes you over to Ohio State University. So let us take that exit here. So once you get onto that, we're going to be following that street all the way down to Tuttle Park Place. And we're going to be taking right here. And if you follow that, it'll take you all the way down to the Ohio State Football Stadium. Woohoo! That looks like a cool place to visit. So we're going to be heading back onto 315 now. So, always down the road, we're meeting Interstate 670, which gets signed for Neal Avenue and the airport. And 670 West gets no control city, sadly. And then here is the southern terminus of Ohio Route 315 at the junction with Interstate 70 and 71. And we also have an exit for US 62. So, with that, we'll be turning around and doing northbound Ohio Route 315. So we begin here on 71 and 70, where 315 is now signed north for Worthington. And the only reason why it's signed for that is because we meet Ohio Route 161. Here is our first exit, US Highway 62 and US 33. Here is a cool view of the Columbus skyline from Ohio Route 315. And then we also meet Interstate 670, which gets no control city, and we also get no control city for some reason. And here's the exit for Ohio State once again, and we're also meeting exit 5 and 3 quarters of a mile. And then here's set exit 7 and 8. And then here's the exit for Ohio Route 161, which is signed for Worthington. And then always up the road, we're meeting with Interstate 270. And this is the end of Ohio Route 315 because we're going to be turning into a hard road. So with that, we end both Interstate 270 and Ohio Route 315 and move on to all of the places I'll go. So these are all the places that I'd visit if I ever was on 270 or 315. First, I'd like to visit downtown Columbus. It looked pretty nice when I did the US 62 video. Also, I'd like to visit both the Ohio State campus and the Ohio State Stadium. And apparently, I also learned that Columbus is home to a couple of uh, fast food places that I like. Wendy's and Buffalo Wild Wings. So I'd like to visit the HQ of those two places. And i also like to visit other parks and other tourist attractions in Columbus. And that ends Interstate 270. Thank y'all so much for watching this short video on Interstate 270. I hope you guys learned a little bit more about the highway, and I hope you have empathy on it because it used to have control cities, but someone decided to take them down. So with that, here are my next few highways. The most notable ones is both US 72 and US 76 eastbound, uh, another collab with Ford and Monch on US 15 northbound, and a collab with the Xavier 456 on US Highway 23 northbound. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all next week as we do a combination of 72 and 76 westbound.